Let's start by setting up your invoice and payment defaults, which can be found by navigating to Settings and Preferences, Invoice and Payment Settings. We recommend enabling the ability to accept payments for new invoices through Square and Stripe if you plan on accepting payments directly through the platform. This setting will allow clients to pay for services up front or enroll in a payment plan when booking their services in the portal. This option is only available if you have linked your Square or Stripe account within the third-party integration section. Square and Stripe may not be available in every country, but you can find a list of supported countries on their website. Next, you'll want to set up your default currency and your default tax. You can also set up a default header and footer, which will appear on all your invoices. This can be used to display your company information or important notes regarding your payment. Next, we'll move on to the Billing and Payments section by going to My Practice, Billing and Payments. From here, you can view your invoices, payment plans, coupons, super bills, and CMS 1500 forms. From here, you can view a list of all your invoices or you can utilize our filters to select the ones that you want to see. For example, if I wanted to see unpaid and partially paid invoices, I can use this filter. If a client did not pay for the service up front, you can manually create an invoice by clicking on the Fast Action button, Create Invoice, followed by selecting the client you wish to create the invoice for. As you can see, the default header will populate on the top left corner, as well as a unique invoice number and invoice date. Both of these fields can be further adjusted. Next, in the line description, type in the service or product that you wish to invoice. This will populate the associated fee, which you can adjust if needed. You also have the option to add ad hoc fees or items you did not previously set up. But if you'd like to add a discount to the item, you can do this here. If you're invoicing multiple items, you can add more line items by clicking on the Add Line Item button, or you can use the Fast Action button on the bottom right-hand corner. If you're invoicing a service from a booking, package, or program the client already has, you can do this quickly by clicking on the Fast Action button and selecting the corresponding options. Before you send this invoice to your client, you have the options of accepting this payment through Stripe or Square and saving your client's billing information for future payments. You also have the option of requiring the client to pay in full or allowing them to pay in installments. If you choose this option, you can create a payment plan for the remaining balance of the invoice or just collect the balance at a later time. Click Save to store this invoice in your client's record and click Send to save and deliver this invoice to your client. Your client will receive an email notification and copy of your invoice in the client portal within a few moments, and they will also receive an email with the option to pay if you've connected your Square or Stripe account to practice better. You can also process the payment for your client in person by clicking on Process. This feature is only available if you have your client's information on file. Your invoice details will appear so that you can review and show your client their invoice before processing their payment. Once an invoice has been processed, the details will become read-only. Click on Pay Now, select the method of payment, and put in the appropriate details. Once the payment has been processed, your client will automatically receive a receipt. If a client has previously paid or is paying with an external method such as cash, you can record the payment by going to the More Options menu and clicking on Record a Payment. From here, you'll select the payment type, the amount paid, the payment date, and you have the option of adding in a note. If your client's invoice is past due date, you also have the option of sending a reminder to your clients to pay. You can do this by clicking on the More Options button next to the Outstanding Invoice and selecting Send Reminder. This action will send your client an, e an email reminder to pay their invoice. You also have the option of refunding your client. Select Refund, select the payment amount that you want to refund, and the refund amount. 
If you use an external accounting software, invoices can be exported into a CSV file from Practice Better, which can then be imported by the accounting software. You can do this by navigating to Billing and Payments, selecting the Export option, and setting your filters. This concludes our tutorial on Billing and Payments in Practice Better.